My name is Craig Gonzalez, and I'm going to talk about some common mistakes in writing awkward sentences. Thank you. Enjoy. Common mistakes in writing awkward sentences. Today, I want to talk about awkward sentences in English writing. So, what's wrong with this sentence? Really, it's kind of easy to write in English when you actually have an outline. The, the problem is, it's it sounds more like spoken English, not written English. Many of the words add little or no meaning to the sentence. This meaning is sort of unclear. So how would we fix the problem? Well, we would eliminate any of the unnecessary words that make the sentence long and ineffective. So really, it's kind of easy, get rid of kind of, to write in English when you actually have an outline. You don't need that actually. So instead, you would end up with, it's easy to write in English when you have an outline. There are other examples of unnecessary words that I'll print in the blog post below this video that clutter up sentences with, without really adding any meaning. Certainly, very, pretty, quite, obviously, always, of course, indeed, and inevitably tend to use words that we don't need to have. Now, awkward sentences tend to overuse negatives. Let's look at this example. Get on the Business English HQ mailing list. Make sure you don't go to the wrong websites for business writing advice. The problem is that there's negatives and that makes our sentence awkward. Instead, we want to eliminate the two negatives and instead write, get on the Business English HQ mailing list and receive the best business writing advice. It's pretty good self-promotion, isn't it? So the advice today for effective business writing is to avoid unnecessary qualifiers, words, and negative expressions. Here are three sentences, and they are all awkward. Can you correct them? The correct answer will be at the bottom of this blog post, and if you think you know the answer, skip to the bottom, go to the comments, and write what you think. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Here are the three sentences. In doing the PowerPoint presentations, Craig certainly knows how to speak rather clearly. Number two, each and every one of the readers of Business English HQ wrote a comment on the last post. Three, Craig bought a software program that was not different from a colleague's. There are much better ways to write these three sentences. We've included the answers at the bottom. My name is Craig Gonzalez, and I co-run Business English HQ with Dr. Frank Bankowski. Please ask a question, comment, or let us help you in the comments below. It was Business English. Thank you very much.